Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. Today's quickfire Q&A is all about the hip joint. Five questions, 10 seconds to answer each one. So, question number one, what is the capsular pattern of the hip joint? 10 seconds, go. Okay, time's up. So, the capsular pattern of the hip joint is flexion, abduction, medial rotation. You may need to remember this when considering your osteoarthritic patient. Question number two. Fill in the blanks to generate the names of these muscles that produce movement at the hip joint. Time's up. So, the first muscle is the obturator internus. The second muscle is pectineus. The third muscle is psoas major. And the fourth muscle is quadratus femoris. Question number three. What are the insertion points for the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscles, and for what condition is this relevant? Time's up. So, the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscles insert into the greater trochanter and the relevant condition is greater trochanteric pain syndrome. This is because one possible feature of greater trochanteric pain syndrome is a tendinopathy of these two muscles. Question number four. What are the three capsular ligaments of the hip? Time's up. So, the three ligaments are the iliofemoral ligament, the pubofemoral ligament, and the ischiofemoral ligament. And lastly, question number five. This is a real example of a patient case study. I wanted to give you their examination findings and see if you could work out what might be going on. So this patient is a 28-year-old female who has been working in an office for the last two years. She presented with a six-month history of anteromedial left hip and groin pain. Her aggravating factors included sitting for 45 minutes at work and extending her hip, such as when letting her leg hang off the bed when trying to get out of bed in the morning. On examination, she presented with increased pain with flexion and internal rotation, as well as increased tightness in the anterior hip when a Thomas test was completed. She also presented with weakness in the gluteus, medius and minimus muscles. So, any thoughts on what's going on? 10 seconds to come up with a problem. Off you go. Okay, time's up. So what actually happened to this patient was that they were experiencing increased capsular stiffness in the anterior aspect of their left hip. The anterior stiffness leads to difficulty in extending the hip and can explain why her Thomas test demonstrated anterior hip tightness. Sitting for long periods at a desk can promote hip flexor tightness because of the position the hip remains in, which can also lead to anterior joint stiffness. Furthermore, weakness in the glute med and min muscles can lead to an increase in hip internal rotation, which can also cause a compression of the anterior joint capsule and explains why internal rotation was painful for this patient. In the end, mobilizations and hip flexor stretches to open up the anterior capsule, along with strengthening of the glute med and min muscles, and advising the patient to take regular breaks from sitting at work all led to an improvement in her symptoms. So that completes our quickfire Q&A. Thank you as always for listening and for all our best tips and videos, join us again at clinicalphysio.com.